Jarvis. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him for days. Well, we've got to look for him before anybody else finds him. Why are you so worried about David? Isn't that obvious? You really think he knows where Sarah is? Perhaps he might know. But then why hasn't he showed up with her? Why hasn't he brought her back to Collinwood? I don't know. It's because he hasn't found it. It's because he doesn't know where she is. Perhaps, but I can't take any chances. Well, if, even if he does find her, uh, she's not going to tell him anything. Uh, you said so yourself. Uh, you said it a hundred times. I know what I said. Well, you believe it, don't you? I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is we've got to find him before anyone else does. What if he does know too much? What happens then? You know the answer to that. Well, you wouldn't harm him, would you? Well, of course, I'd have to do what was necessary. Barnabas! He's only a little boy, and a Collins. Wait, you wouldn't harm a member of your own family, would you? It would certainly be regrettable. Barnabas... Willie, I haven't said I decided to do anything. I merely want to find the boy and find out how much he knows. <laughs> Come, Willie. Where? To search for David, of course. Well, you haven't got much time. The sun's about to rise. I'm aware of that. Who's that? We'll know in a moment. Well, Sheriff uh, Haskell. Mr. Collins? We'd like to take a look around your house, if you don't mind. Well, not at all. My house? Here? Why? We have a hunch that David might be hiding in here. David here? Why would he come here? Well, to find Sarah. But why would she be here? He isn't here. He can't be. The house has been locked up all day long. I told you that before. Well. David has a way of getting past locks. He isn't here, I tell you. One of us would have seen him. Willie's right. Besides, why would he come finding her here? Well, because Sarah's been seen in this house. Vicky saw her here the night of the party. Now, we thought that maybe Sarah and David have been sneaking into the house to play, perhaps when you were out. I doubt that. And the little girl that Miss Winters saw was a figment of her imagination. Maybe. Maybe not. All the same, we... We'd like to take a look around. Now, you can't do that. Why not? Because there's nobody here but us. Listen, Willie, why are you always so nervous about letting people look in this house? I ain't nervous. Willie's only trying to be loyal. He knows I like privacy. But in this case, I don't see why you could have any objections toward us taking a look around. I don't. But it's simply that I feel you're wasting your time. Then it's all right if we take a look around? Of course. Barnabas, it's all right, Willie. Come with me, gentlemen. Well, obviously, he's not here. I'm going to look in the back of the house. All right, I'll look upstairs. That's where Vicky uh, saw the girl. Is it all right with you, Mr. Collins? Certainly. I'll meet you back here in a few minutes, then. Right. Barnabas, you shouldn't have let them in here. I had no choice. You were making them suspicious as it was. But Barnabas, they might... they might search. I know. But they will find nothing. There's nothing upstairs or at the back of the house. But well, they might search the basement. They haven't yet. Well, they might. And they might search the coffin room when they find your coffin. Willie, be quiet, you fool. They know. They know everything. Be quiet, Willie. And I meant it. Okay. But don't pretend you're not scared. You're just as scared as I am. The sun will be rising in a few minutes. You've got to get to your coffin. I know. Well, we've got to get rid of them. We've got to. Let me handle this. Here's the sheriff. Well, sheriff, did you find anything? No, not a thing. I was afraid you wouldn't.
Joe? Joe! How's it going? Did you have any luck? No. You? No. All I found was a lot of empty rooms. I was afraid you gentlemen were wasting your time. But did you search every place? Every place on this floor. The cellar was locked. I couldn't get in. Do you keep your basement uh, locked, Mr. Collins? Well, it's, it's been locked ever since I moved in here. Uh, no one ever goes down there. Hey, maybe we ought to take a look around. Huh? Well, you'll find nothing. There's nothing down there but a lot of odds and ends. Well, that sounds like a perfect place for a couple of kids to play. I think we should go take a look. Haven't you wasted enough time? Well, it won't take very much more time, We've Mr. Collins. searched every place else. We might as well do a thorough job. I buy that. But it's impossible for Willie to have gotten, uh, at least David, to have gotten down there. Why? Well, as I told you, no one's ever been down there. And that door has been kept locked ever since I moved in. Well, maybe David has found a different way to get in there. Well, that hardly seems likely. Well, likely or not, Mr. Collins, I think we ought to take a look around. May we have the key, Mr. Collins? I'm afraid you can't. Well, why not? I lost it. Lost it? Yes, it was with some keys that Elizabeth gave me when I moved in, and I misplaced it. So you possibly can't get down through that door. Well, we could break it down. Break it down? Why not, if there's nothing valuable down there? I can't let you do that. Why? Well, I can't allow you to destroy family property. Listen, I can repair the door later. But I insist. I can't possibly allow you to do that. Why not? Well, for one thing, it isn't necessary. And, and David's not down there. There's nothing down there. And why do you object to my taking a look? I don't object. To, it's just that I... Sheriff! Sheriff! Carol, what are you doing? One of the sheriff's deputies just called. He said they know where David might be. Well, where? A woman spotted a little boy fitting David's description several hours ago. He, he was walking along the beach road, about two miles outside of town. They're going to call the area now, and they'd like you down there as soon as possible. Thank you, Carolyn. We better get going right away. I'll take Carolyn back to the house and join you. Well, Mr. Collins, would you uh, like to come along with us? I think not. I I'll see you later. Well, thank you for your cooperation. Of course. <laughs> The sun is about to rise. But you've got to stop your search for David. Yes, but I want you to continue the search all day long if necessary, but find him. And if I do, bring him here to this house. What are you going to do to him? Find him, Willie, and bring him here. After that, I'll decide what to do next. Where did you come from? Around. Yeah, everybody's been looking for you. They have? Everybody. And, and somebody special, he's been looking for you too. Who's that? Barnabas. I've been looking for him too. You have? Y you want to see him? Yes. Well, look, I, I, I can take you to his house. We'll have to wait a while. But pretty soon he'll come and see you. Would you like that? Yes. Well, let's go there now. No, I can't. Well, well why not? I have to look for somebody. Somebody who's lost. David Collins? Yes, David. Well, don't you know where he is? No. Sometimes I almost know where he is, but then I'm not sure. Well, we can look for David later. No, I have to look for him now. He's scared, and he needs me. I can tell. Yeah, 
Uh, you and David, good friends? I think so. How good? I like him. He knows lots of games, and so do I. <laughs> hey, uh, do you tell each other things? Yes. Well, what kind of things? All kinds of things. Well, like what? Like secrets. Well, what, what secrets? Some of them are big and some of them are small. No, you, you shouldn't go around telling other people's secrets. I don't mind telling David. I just told him the biggest secret I know. Well, what, what did you tell him? I can't tell you that. Then it wouldn't be a secret anymore. Well, you, you can trust me. Can I? Well, sure you can. I'm your, I'm your friend. What? I never had a grown-up friend before. Except for one. Well, I make two. And that's why you can tell me secrets. Now, what did you say to David? Don't ask me any more questions. Well, can't you tell me? Don't ask me any more questions. I don't like to be asked questions. Oh, oh, okay, well, let, let's go find Barnabas now. I can. I told you. I have to find David. Well, only take a minute and he isn't very far. Where is it? What? Well, just over there. Where? Well, over there. It's that house in the clearing. See it, Sarah? Sarah? It's important. Can you come down to the old house with me? No, it's not possible. I said I'd stay here and answer the phone in case there's a message from David. Well, I gotta talk to you. You alone? Yes, everybody was up most of the night and they're resting now. Can we go in there? I suppose so. Now, Willie, I don't think you ought to come here unless it's absolutely necessary. People are asking enough questions as it is. I told you this is important. Well, what is it? Is something wrong about Barnabas? No, it's her. I saw her. Her? Sarah, I saw her. Where? In the woods, just now. I wasn't even looking for her, and there she was. D did you let her get away? Well, I couldn't help it. I, I turned my back for a minute, and she was gone. I don't think I could have kept her there if I tried. But what, what did she say? She said she was looking for David. She didn't know where he was? I guess not. She said she didn't. It's strange. I thought she would. She told me something. If she tells the same thing to Barnabas, there's going to be a killing. A killing? Who? David. What? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he'll decide to do it if he knew what she told me. But, but... What did she tell you? Well, she was telling secrets uh, to David. She'd been telling him secrets. Well, the secrets? Well, what, what secrets? Well, she didn't say what they were. She just said they were big secrets and little secrets. That may not necessarily mean anything. I think it does. She said she told David the biggest secret she knows. She said that? Uh, you know what it means, don't you? She told him about Barnabas. I hope she didn't, for David's sake. Well, Barnabas is already scared about how much David knows. He says we have to find him before anybody else does. He almost came right out and said what he was thinking. Oh, if David knows too much, he's going to have to kill him. Barnabas said that? He said he'd have to do what was necessary. You know what he meant, don't you? Yes. Oh, if David finds out the truth, he'll tell everyone as soon as he's found. Our experiments, everything will be nothing. Well, what are we going to do? I don't know. I think we just have to hope that David doesn't know as much as we suspect he does. And if he does? We'll cross that bridge when the time comes. What am I going to tell Barnabas? Nothing. Well, i got to tell him I saw Sarah. No, if you tell him anything, he'll ask questions. And you'll have to provide the answers. 
Then those answers will be David's death warrant. It isn't easy to lie to Barnabas. I know, but you've got to do it for David's sake. I'll try. I don't know if I can get away with it. But I'll try. You've got to do more than try, Willie. You've got to... Who's that? I don't know. Maybe they found David. Oh, let's find out. Hello, Julia. I have to talk to you. I trust it's important. It's very important. Hello, Willie. Hello. Uh, the thank you for bringing the book, Willie, and thank Mr. Collins. Uh, will you be at the old house later? Uh, perhaps I'll try. Tell Mr. Collins. Well, Willie, I see you finally decided to come back. What do, you, what do you mean? I told you to be here at sundown to report to me. Why weren't you here? Didn't have anything to report. Well, why didn't you come and tell me that? Well, I, I was still out in the woods looking around. You're lying, Willie. No, I swear, I, I was still doing what you told me to do. When I give you an order, you usually carry it out, unless there's a reason you're afraid to. You would have been here at sundown. But you were afraid to tell me something you learned today. What was it, Willie? What was it? I told you nothing. Fortunately for you, I have more urgent business to attend to. Like what? While you were out cowering in fear somewhere, I went out and found Cousin David. You found him? Yes. Where? Coming out of the mausoleum. The mausoleum? What, you think he knows about the secret chamber? Yeah, of course he knows about it, you fool. But did he tell you that he did? He didn't have to tell me. I knew it by the way he looked at me. And by his lies and answering my question. And what did he say? He claimed he got lost in the woods and fell asleep. But I knew that was a lot of nonsense. And he was aware that I knew it and it frightened him. What did you do to him? I wasn't able to deal with him then and there. Our friend Mr. Devlin happened to come along and... So we took him back to Collinwood. You think he knows everything about you? I'm not sure how much he knows. But the one thing I am certain of is that he's lying to me about something. We know he went out to look for Sarah in a secret place. That could be the secret chamber in the mausoleum. If it was, then he probably knows everything. And that means that we'll have to deal with them as soon as possible. Barnabas, if you're not absolutely certain to be wrong to do anything to him. I mean, he's just a little boy. Well, even if he got into the secret chamber, he probably didn't understand what he saw. But if he got in, Sarah had to help him. And she probably explained everything to him. Maybe she didn't tell him anything. Maybe, maybe. What assurance have I with maybe? No, Willie. At the very least, David's curiosity has been aroused. And curiosity in a child can be a very dangerous thing. The sooner it's put to rest, the better off the both of us will be. Why did you do it, Barnabas? What are you talking about? The girl who was attacked, it's all over town. Is it? Everybody's up in arms. The police are all over the place asking questions. It will quiet down. But things were quiet. People were starting to forget and you had to stir them up again. Now why? Why did you do Willie, it? Willie, I don't have to explain my actions to you. Well, does this mean that things are going back to the way they were? You're not going to cooperate with Dr. Hoffman? 
You're not going on with the experiments? The experiments will continue. Then why did you do it? Why did you think you had to do it? Willie, I told you I don't have to offer explanations. I know why you did it. Do you? Hey, you did it because you got scared and you panicked, but you shouldn't have. And what do you suppose frightened me? Well, I saw the way you were earlier. You were scared Sarah was in this house and you didn't have any control over Be her. Be quiet, Willie. Hey, you're scared of losing your power. Scared you can't live as a normal man. That's why you went out I and... I told you to be quiet, Willie. You know, Barnabas, things can't go on like this. Because one day they'll catch you and they'll find out what you are. That will never happen. It could happen. Now, what if that girl had seen you? She didn't. Well, what if she caught a glimpse of something, something she'll remember later? She didn't see anything. Well, how can you be sure? Because I am. Now, you can't take chances like this. Barnabas, look, I know you're scared of a lot of things. Scared of losing Vicky Winners. Scared of how much David knows. Scared of Maggie Evans. I'm Evan. telling you for the last time, be quiet, Willie. Okay. I just hope you feel as safe as you think you are. I want you to do something for me. What? I want you to go into town and find out what's going on and what is being said. Because you really don't feel so safe. You have your instructions, Willie. Carry them out. Okay. But things can't go on like this, Barnabas. They can't. Go! Give me a... Uh, a uh, double martini on the rocks, huh? All right to serve him, Sheriff? I guess one will be all right. Yeah, I want it for a starter, eh, George? Right? Give me a ginger ale, huh? Anything new on that attack last night, Sheriff? No, not a thing. You mean you haven't got the slightest clue as to who the guy could be? Not the slightest. Well, you better come up with something real fast. The people are beginning to panic. You don't have to tell me that. Oh, well, the panic will be over in a couple of days, right, George? Sam, be quiet. What is he talking about? Uh, nothing, not a thing. You know, Sam, he gets a couple of drinks under his belt and he just likes to talk. <laughs> he sounds as if you're onto something. No, I just told you, we're not. Yeah, that's what you said. Hey, hey, who's uh, going to pay for these drinks? I'll drink with you, Sam, but I'm not going to pay for your drinking habit. Oh, no, wait a minute, I think you owe me a drink. Yes, because Maggie's going to make you a public hero. Knock it off. What does he mean by that? Nothing, not a thing. Maggie hasn't started to remember the guy who kidnapped her, has she? No, of course not. No, of course not. Hold on. Hold on, how about that other drink, George? All right, Sam, I'll buy you the drink, but uh, let's go to a table, huh? Bob, listen, do me a favor, will you? What's that? Forget everything Sam just said, huh? He was just talking. Why? Are Never... you really on to something? No. Just do as I said. Forget everything he said, all right? Okay. Well, that ought to do it. At least half a dozen people overheard us. A rumor that Maggie's memory is coming back ought to be all over town first thing in the morning. Yeah. And after that, she'll be a sitting duck. You better guard her very well, George. Her life is in your hands. What? Oh, 
He didn't come right out and say her memory was coming back. He hinted at it, and the sheriff tried to stop him from saying it. Then Dr. Hoffman will have to prevent her memory from coming back. What if she can't? She must. Barnabas, the best thing for you to do is to leave town tonight before she remembers anything. I will never leave Collinwood. What are you going to do? You'll find out soon enough. Perhaps before this night is over. Where is she? Why hasn't she come? She'll be here. When? I can't afford to wait much longer. You mustn't do anything foolish, Barnabas. Dr. Hoffman will take care of everything. She assured me she was taking care of everything. She assured me she had everything under control. But she's wrong. She's here. Let her in. Come in. She's been waiting for you. Barnabas, I got your message. Why did you want to see me? What's going on? Doctor, you blundered. It may mean the end of everything. I don't know what you're talking about. Maggie Evans' memory is returning. What? The memory of what happened here in this house, the memory you presumably destroyed forever, is returning. But that's not possible. Tell her, Willie. Her, her father and the sheriff were in the Blue Whale tonight and it slipped out. Uh, Mr. Evans was drunk saying all kinds of things. The sheriff tried to quiet him down. But he hinted the whole case would be solved in a few days, and it's because of Maggie. That could only mean one thing. Her memory is returning. Nonsense. I made certain that her memory will never return. So you said, but you were wrong. When I hypnotized her, she lost all trace of that memory. The only way she could regain that memory is if I were to hypnotize her again and tell her to remember. You must make sure that she doesn't remember. She doesn't. She never will. I'll give you one more chance, Doctor, to find out if she doesn't. Go to her, now, tonight, and make sure that her memory is gone. But this it... time for good. It is Don't gone. Don't argue with me. Go to her, before it's too late. I can't go to her. Why not? She's no longer my patient. Dr. Woodard took me off the case. He what? He decided to take over himself a few days ago. Why did he do that? He grew suspicious, we argued. You allowed him to grow suspicious. I couldn't help it. Another blunder. This may mean your life. You can't kill me, Barnabas. Can't I? No, you need me to continue your experiments. Do I? Yes. Besides, there's no point in killing me. I'm not a threat to you. You failed me. I didn't. Maggie's memory is gone. Gone for good, and it will never return. I only have your word for that. You'll have to take my word for it. You'll have to trust me. I trusted you before. You have no reason not to trust me now. You think Maggie's memory is returning. You suspect it is, but you're wrong. Uh, she could be right, Barnabas. She's right about one thing. I've decided to spare you, Doctor, in spite of your blundering. And Maggie? What would you have me do? Wait. Wait? Wait for a few days. You'll see that her memory will not return. And if it does? It won't. You must believe that. Doctor, perhaps you were right. Perhaps my fears were without cause. Good 
Then you won't do anything to Maggie? Not yet. Not until I'm certain that she no longer is a threat to me. At least you're being sensible. Isn't it time for the injection, Doctor? Yes. Oh, please prepare. All right. But I'm glad you didn't panic, Barnabas. something, aren't you? Am I? You're planning to kill Maggie Evans. Oh, I know you are. You lied to Dr. Hoffman. You're not going to leave Maggie alone. You're going to kill her. Do I have any other choice? Well, you don't know how much she remembers. Her memory might not come back. Not the part about you anyway. I can hardly afford to take that chance. Well, you don't want to kill her. You know you don't. I tried to spare her. But now she's become too much of a threat to my existence. And yours. Why don't you wait? Find out how much she knows. I cannot wait. I've waited too long as it is. When are you planning to do it? When the moon disappears behind those clouds and I can move unobserved in the darkness. Tonight. Yes. Tonight.